What's up, everybody? So you got it. We're sitting inside a 2017 BMW X5. Now, this one is also a diesel. We just filmed two days ago a 2015 X5 diesel. They almost look identical, right? Both are black on the exterior. The difference is, though, is this one is a little more money because it's a 17 model, not a 15. This one's got the M Sport package on it, which kind of gives it a little bit more of a sporty appearance to it. It is a twin turbo V6 though with the diesel engine. And anyways, this one's gonna be up in the 30,000 range versus the other one in the upper 20s. So with all this being said, the idea of these videos is to let you see what a car looks like just like this when it gets around 100,000 miles on it. And of course these vehicles are for sale. So. With no further ado, let's hit the street and take it over to our spot and get some good footage of it. Here we go. All right, let's do it. Well, don't do it too fast. Cars are coming. Feels good, of course. You know, there's always a nice feeling about a diesel engine car you know they just they have a nice way about them that they they run good um believe it or not these newer diesel engines seem to be pretty good when it comes to the uh quietness of the motor you really just can't tell so much that it's a diesel when you're listening to it but um what i like about this particular car is it is the x5 with the m sport so it's gonna really it's gonna really have a nice look so let's hop out real quickly and take a look at it and then we'll hop back in and finish driving it here we go all right so there's a nice look at it right it's got a really nice stance to it and uh, i'll start moving up a little closer in a minute and let you see a little more you know Years ago, I wasn't really a big fan of BMW because I never really got to work with the BMW brand so much. But now that I work at Southern Motor Company, it really is a pleasure to be able to get inside these cars and drive them and show them to you. And I get to learn a little more about them and, and all, you know, because they're just, they're actually, they're growing on me, you know? Well, first off, the look of a bmw right especially these x5s i mean if you got some kids right or if you got a family wow i mean this is nice it's got a it's got a very good look about it i mean look at the front end on this car i mean i love how the the grill right there is blacked out and uh, i just i like that and that may have something to do with the m sport package the headlights got a really nice look to them look at that i mean very menacing right just the whole design which bmw has kind of had their angel eye set up on lockdown for quite a while now so i like that um you got fog lights you got also you got cameras all on the front of this car you got a camera right there so you can see what's going on up front right here and you got your sensors right now how does the m sport be can be a little different than just your regular x5 First off, too, is right here. These right here. Now, you're going to notice a little more of a flare when we get to the rear. Okay, so they're not like massive fender flares or anything, but I kind of like how BMW's added on this little bit of a flare right on the lip here. Just to kind of make it look a little more wider. It gives it that kind of wide body look. See what I'm talking about? How it just kind of comes out a little bit. So, I think that's some of the difference. Also, maybe I'm wrong, but we got another one of these over at the store, but this right here, I don't think the other X5s have that. That lets some air flow through there. Of course, it's X-Drive, so it's all-wheel drive. Um, alloy wheels look nice. You got 19-inch rims all the way around with a 255 50 Series Goodyear tire, and uh, yeah, these alloy wheels, if you take a look real closely there, you'll see right above the BMW, the little M Sport badge. So obviously the five stars kind of go along with the M Sport package. 
Looks like we may need a set of tires on this particular vehicle. Again, it just came in, but yeah, the outsides of them are getting pretty worn out. And uh, most likely our store will replace those before the week's even up. Because that's just what we do at Southern Motor Company, folks. We really, if they need tires, we'll put them on. Now, on the front, of course, you got your heads-up display unit right here, which you don't have to have the M Sport package to get the heads-up display, but I like that. That's nice. The heads-up's nice. Um, this one's already got tinted windows. You got that clean little rail going up the top there in silver. I think it would look really good if it was in like a matte black, but just a little silver does kind of stand out some. The back, you have the dueled out exhaust, which I kind of like how the back bumper's designed where this kind of sits in there. That looks nice. Um, this one actually, I think at some point or another, it has a tow, tow package back there. Backup sensors, backup camera, so you got all that. All right, no reason I'm not going to the other side so much. I'm not trying to hide anything, but the sun is really nailing us every day. I can't seem to get away from that sun and uh, it just gets all up in our camera lens. So anyway, some of my videos are more like vlog style and that's just the way I do it. Now, let's go ahead and look in the back, back seats and in the front. Go ahead and hit unlock. Harman Kardon stereo. I like the all season mats. Those look pretty sweet. And uh, the black on black interior, what a nice look. So of course, yeah, we got power tailgate. Of course we do. And then we're going to click here. Drop that down. Looks like they got a little leaf right there. No big deal. Lean that up. You can do like this. And look at all that space in the back of the X5. Very nice. So some of you may wonder, is there a third row seat? Believe it or not, I have seen a few X5s with third row seating. This one does not. So it is something that you have to get added on at the dealer right that's like hey i'm going to the bmw store i'm going to order me a brand new x5 you know or you're going to go out on the lot and look for one and the dealer goes all right i got one out there we had it specially built from the manufacturer with a third row seat are you wanting that one all right that one up no, check 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 good so anyways my detail guy always leaves his detail stuff in the cars got to go through man i'd be rich boy i could find me all kinds of stuff Anyways, what else do we got back here? You got a little cubby hole there, a little netting over here. You got a power outlet there. So you got all that stuff. Let's go ahead and put this back up. I like those. That's nice to have. Um, and I like how this kind of loads in and out from there. And then we can hit our button up top and go ahead and lower that right on back down. So it makes life a little easier. Well, I, man, a funny story, right? And I'll tell you a little bit of it here in, a, in just a moment. But let's keep looking. Well, first off, this car is Mac Daddy. I mean, if it if you don't think this is Mac Daddy, it's Mac Daddy, baby boy. Let me tell you that much. I mean, it's a sweet ride. A sweet ride, though, comes with, you got it, a sweet price tag. So anyways, leather interior looks pretty good. And I really like BMW's all-season mats. The way they got the lines in them and all, it just looks different. Looks a little more exotic. All right. Oh, got a little cubby hole there. Water bottle or bottle holders there. You got your air vents. You're also getting heated seats in the back, heated seats in the front. Rear air climate in the back. You can change temperature on either side. So that's nice stuff. Yeah, this is a really nice ride. Let me let you take a look in the front. Ooh, isn't that pretty? All right. And then if you didn't realize, yeah, you got a panoramic glass roof that stretches all the way to the back right there so i like how bmw really blocks out the sun a hundred percent uh some brands do not do that audi audi gives you more of a sun shade still lets a little light through but doesn't block it a hundred percent so it's nice that bmw kind of blocks it out because sometimes you don't want any sun in the car you just want it to be darker and have shade all right but anyways front's looking good got a lot of buttons windows mirrors trunk button lock unlock all your power seats lumbars and then you do have this neat little feature hold on let me see if i can figure it out that does that oh look yeah you got this see this right here this can extend out or in that's good if you're a little bit taller so i had a customer a husband and wife come by that fell in love with this car today and uh 
Long story short, it was a bit more money than what they could actually get done. You know, now I'm not saying they couldn't afford their payments or anything like that. But what I'm trying to tell you is try not to get locked down on just one car when you're car shopping. Now, if, if you know you can go and get whatever car you want because your credit is jamming, it's doing good, and you got a good credit high, you know, people have lended you thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 before, you know, and all that, pick what you want, okay? Seriously. But if you're limited on credit and you've never financed through a finance company before, not one time in your entire life, and you only got a certain amount down and all that, you cannot lock yourself on one particular car. Because what if you do all the deal and get it all done and get working with the finance guy and all that stuff, and then he comes back and goes, well, I can get you done on a vehicle, but this particular car is going to be way too much money. The bank just will not loan you $30,000. Don't put yourself in a situation where you're like, oh, you know, I'm only going to get this one and this one only. And that's the only one I like, even though you got two other ones out there for less money. But this is the one I like because this is the one I want and I really, really like it. Don't do that to yourself because at the end of the day, you can get yourself a nice BMW, but you need to keep your options open. So I understand getting and falling in love with a vehicle and then only wanting that vehicle. But at the same time, please try to open your mind up and realize that you have to build yourself up. You have to take steps to getting to the point where you can walk in the dealership and go, all right. Let's do the application. Sign me up. I want to buy that thirty four, thirty five thousand dollar SUV. If no one's ever loaned you the money to be able to buy a $35,000 vehicle and you only got a certain little amount down on a $35,000 car, it's going to be very difficult if at all to get the deal done. So I'm not trying to be negative Nancy or anything like that. But when I go, hey, look, we got an X5 out here that's $22,000 just has about 10,000 more miles on it. A little different color setup, but we can get you done on that one. Keep your mind open. Or go out there if you have to and find another black on black somewhere else for less money. That may be the other route to go. But unfortunately, if you really like this and you really want this, you may not be able to get it right now. The funny thing was, is they came by our store looking for a Jeep Wrangler that we sold four months ago. And the guy pulls his phone out and shows me this picture of this Jeep Wrangler. And he goes, yay, we come to see this car here because I seen this car here at your store. And uh, I called and I, I said, we're going to come by and look at it. And now I'm here and it's not here. And I said, sir, that vehicle sold four months ago. I can't hold a car for you for four months. If you call me and say, hey, Chad, I've seen that BMW X5 on your lot. I just rode by or I was out there Sunday. It's now Monday or Tuesday. Hey, you think you can hold it for me till tomorrow till I can get by? Sure. Give me a call. Let me know. I'll do what I can to hold it for you. Or if anyone stops by to look at it and try to buy it, I'll give you a call and give you a shot. There you go. All right, guys, I got to do some photos of the interior. We're going to look under the hood here in just a moment and we'll be wrapping this one up. All right, everybody, as we always do, we're going to take a look under the hood. Y'all ready? Here we go. So as I mentioned earlier, it is a 3.0 liter twin turbo diesel engine. Sounds good and very clean under here. Very nice. They definitely do a great job of 
making a nice car, I'll tell you that much. And some good craftsmanship right there with BMW. So one thing on black though, look, <laughs> my little fingerprints just right there. Anyways, very solid vehicle. I think you would truly enjoy every moment of owning it. Oh yeah. All right, let's hop in. So anyways, as far as amenities are concerned, you got paddle shifters right there. Cruise control, audio functions and voice command, heated seats, backup camera with guidelines. You control a lot of the stuff right through here. Your iDrive, as they may call it, BMW iDrive. Your map is right there. I like how the previous person has set it up with the clock right there. That looks really nice. And uh, you can go into the menu. Beautiful layout. Definitely looks good compared to some of the older versions. So I love the update on all this. Communication, media, all that good stuff. My vehicle. There's just so much you can do with this car. But anyways, we're going to go back into navigation. And uh, let's just throw the map up on the screen. Pretty simple. Let's go ahead and put her in reverse. Just like that. This is very simple to use. You hit the unlock button to go ahead and put put the vehicle in gear and all that stuff. But before we do, I guess I gotta put a seatbelt on. So, anyways, everybody, I always like to share some kind of little story with you on some of these car videos. And hopefully it can be somewhat of a learning experience for you if you're listening. Up top, we do got sunglass holders. But a very small area for sunglasses. I like the interior lighting, looks good. Let's take a look real quick. I got a pair of sunglasses in my jeans, right here. These Ray-Bans are about eight or nine years old. I've had them for a long time. Maybe not that old, maybe six or seven. But anyways, let's see if those would actually fit in there. Well, I'll be dogged on it. They do. So, but that's about the size you're going to get in there. None of those big shades that some of you guys and gals wear are probably going to fit in there. But it's just a nice conservative pair of Ray-Bans may work for you. Anyways, there's your lights and your mirrors and all that. You got your handles and then that big, massive sunroof, which is really nice. Anyways, we're on reverse. Let's go ahead and take her back down to the dealership. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you've made it through this long on this video, congratulations. You definitely have earned, you've darn earned it. And uh, I'll tell you, if you watch some of my videos, you need to come and do some business with me right here at Southern Motor Company. I'll do what I can to make sure you get the best deal in the house. But I tell you this much, the guys in the store probably, if they heard me say that, they'd say, Chad, you got to understand the deals that we're doing are already the best deals you can do. That's right, because we don't have any dealer admin fees. We don't have dock fees, any of those kind of fees. We do price our vehicles accordingly to make sure that we are within the market values on most of our vehicles. And... Uh, you know, we're not trying to knock your head off or anything like that. And we're trying to sell you a good quality car. Go on our Google reviews and read up about us. Seriously, you'll see what I'm talking about. But anyways, got a lot of traffic out here. It's time for me to get over and get back to the store. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And uh, I look forward to seeing all of you very soon.